Good morning, CC families. Welcome to week 14. Um, I hope that you've had a great week. We are going to begin this morning with our pledges. So please stand and we will start with our pledge to the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all and next our pledge to the bible i pledge allegiance to the bible god's holy word i will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and i will hide its words in my heart that i might not sin against god thank you helpers you have a seat for a minute all right, we missed you so much, and we would like you to enjoy this slideshow with a couple peaks from our virtual week 13. All right, we truly cannot wait to be back together. We have today virtually and then next week virtually and then Lord willing, we will be in person on February 11. All right, I just have a couple of announcements for this morning. Um, number one, please continue to pray for a new director to take my spot. We do have quite a few families coming in next year, um, but I'm still just praying that God would supply a director for Foundations and Essentials. Um, secondly, continue to pray for your prayer, prayer angel. Uh, we are have a book club tomorrow, Saturday, um, the 22nd, at Marie's apartment, uh, number 308 here at Halison. We'll be discussing grace-based parenting. Um, if you can't come tomorrow, we will be posting details for our February book club on the Facebook page, so stay tuned for that. Also, tomorrow we will be doing a book exchange. So along with our book club, um, bring a new or gently used book for an exchange, a gift exchange. All right, final announcement is Friendship Day on February 11th. We will be celebrating Valentine's Day, the little Friendship Day. Um, I want this to be fun and celebratory, so don't make it too complicated. Um, you may bring Valentines for your class and we will exchange them during recess time after lunch. Um, additionally, if you could just bring like a brown lunch bag decorated for your Valentine's to go in, like your little mailbox, that would be great. And then I'm also looking for two or three families who would be willing to bring a, a special Valentine's Day treat to share with the community after lunch. Just kidding. I actually have two more announcements. First of all, if you have not already, please fill out your favorite things. I put a Google Docs link on our Facebook page. Um, so that way your prayer angel can see um, or just get to know a little bit more about you and be uh, prepared to get you some gifts that you enjoy. Uh, but most importantly, you, there is a spot for you to put your prayer request. And the reason I did Google Docs is so we can see everybody's prayer requests. Um, so please, please, please uh, do that. Again, the link is on the Facebook page. And then secondly, I wanted to apologize um, about the tiles. We will be using some porcelain tiles for our science experiment today. And our science kits only came with one per class. Um, but the tutors and I, actually even before we went virtual, thought it would be more fun for every student to have their own tile. So I went ahead and ordered more tiles, but they did not come in until after I delivered kits. So um, most of you should have already received your tiles except for Ashley and Aviel, I'm sorry. Um, it just seems silly to make a trip for one little tile. So these will be waiting for you when we're in person. Uh, but on the note of the tiles, we will actually be using tiles in a couple weeks with another science experiment. So um, I, you do not need to bring these to community day. I have other tiles, but it might be fun to hold on to these um, to continue the um, exploration and experimenting with these tiles. So. That's just a little teaser that you might not want to get rid of these today, but you might want to hang on to them um, for our next experiment involving tiles. All right, now foundations to challenge. 
All right, foundations to challenge. Can I have my helpers back? All right, this week your foundation student will be working on the, ge the geography of ancient Africa, memorizing the location of several important areas of ancient times. Geography is a valuable pursuit as it provides context for our students that enriches everything else they will study. As Lee Borton says in her book, The Core, having a basic map in our heads helps us to form accurate images of international conflicts or relive adventures with historical heroes or sympathize with plights of man beset by natural disasters. As our young children learn the names of locations throughout the world, they're prepared more readily to engage with literature, history, and current events as challenged students. I can share a testimony to this um, because my kiddos have been in foundations for so many years. When we watch or listen to the news, they have this mental map and they can picture where those stories are taking place because of the geography that we've studied. Additionally, Challenge A students, which many of you will be next year, continue to practice geography by drawing the world. Older Challenge students understand the nuances of literature and history more astutely because of their familiar familiarity with geography. A thorough knowledge of geography gives our students the knowledge they need to understand the world around them. So, if you're curious why your four-year-old or five-year-old or six-year-old is learning ancient geography, that is why. They will use this for years to come. All right, thank you. All right, let's pray, and then we will get on with our CC day. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this morning. Um, I thank you, again, for the gift of technology. I thank you for your faithfulness and taking care of our community. Lord, I thank you for our tutors who have been so creative um, and been so diligent to create these videos for us so we can still learn our new grammar and enjoy our science and arts projects um, and enjoy essentials of grammar in the afternoons. Lord, I just pray that you would help us to have good attitudes today. I pray that our technology would work. I pray that we will love our neighbor, our siblings, and our parents who are in our classroom today, which is our home. I pray that we would um, behave honorably and that we'd be grateful for this task of virtual CC. Lord, I just pray that you would keep our families healthy. I pray that you would restore the hope of their salvation. Um, just help them to help us all to remember that our hope is found in nothing less um, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. So Lord, be our foundation. Be our hope today. In Jesus' name.